Hello, it's me. I'm back. Yes, I'm back again. I've got my foundation on. Doesn't look too bad. I have a thing for e.l.f. products, you know, e.l.f. Everything is e.l.f. I was using the e.l.f. Flawless Foundation in light ivory because I'm pale. And now I'm going to do my eyebrows as soon as I find the correct brush. There we go. That's better. Anyway, second thing, I'm trying to think of exactly how to put this. The second thing that I'm grateful for is moving out here to where we moved even though it's a little tiny kind of rural place but i found a primary care that actually listened to me and has taken steps to actually correct some of the health issues that I arrived here in southeastern Oregon with. See, I originally came from Virginia, and then we went to West Virginia, and then we went to Florida. And after two Cat 5 hurricanes, we decided we needed to be somewhere else. So, now we're in southeastern Oregon. That's a long story all on its own. We will take that up at another time. Anyway, there are wonderful people here in this little tiny area. And they have people here who will actually listen to you. Now, getting to go do some of the tests that you need to do because we're in a rural area means we have to travel a bit. Well, it could be worse. There could be nothing to even travel to. But, I had people that are listening to me, are paying attention, and are not just looking at me going, the whole problem is that you're fat. Now, I know I am a big girl, all right? I've known it for a long time. At one point, I weighed 450 pounds. So, yeah, I am well aware I am not a small or average size. But, in the meantime, since weighing 450, I have lost 150 pounds. That doesn't seem to matter to some people. They still are looking at me and going, the whole problem is you just plain way too much. So I've had people telling me that that was my problem with some of my breathing issues and some of my chest pain issues for years years. Now some of my breathing issues are because of damage to my lungs after pneumonia. Some of my breathing issues, it turns out, are not actually related to breathing. Apparently at some point during the past years, I have had a small heart attack. And that is what is causing my chest pains. And I'm going, oh, really? <laughs> nice to know. <laughs> you know, it would have been nice to know this a long time ago. You know, like maybe like when it happened or something like that. But they did some tests and one of them was a nuclear scan. And on the nuclear scan, they saw the damage. And they're going, yup. You had, uh, let's just make sure we've got you on the right medication to keep your heart stable, and then we can go from there. And I'm going, oh yeah, that, yeah, thank you, please. Yes, you know, and 
since going on the heart meds, things have gotten much better, much easier. I can actually walk around town without feeling like I'm going to pass out. This is a lovely thing. Now, I'm going to start doing my eyes here shortly. That's why I'm doing my brows. I've got my foundation on. I'm not bothering with concealer. I'm just going to the grocery store in a few minutes. And then I will go away and stop bugging you. Well, at least for a little while. At least like this. Back and forth, back and forth. Again, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Please ring the bell so that you know when I do it again. That way you'll get all the benefit of my delightful wisdom. If this is your first time here, welcome. Hi. If you've returned, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It makes me very happy to see return visitors. If you have any questions or comments, please hit the comment section below. And what am I grateful for again? I'm grateful for, my, for, for someone looking out for my health besides me. Anyway, I'll see you in a little while. I got to put my eyes on yet. Be good.